Well, you might be wondering how I got here on, uh, well, one of the biggest battles I've ever seen in this game. There are over 200 NPCs here for what is known as the final battle, but to be a final battle, there has to have been a beginning. This is a story in three parts about a spy. You may be wondering how I got to that mysterious island where the final battle was. Well, I'm a spy on a ship. And uh, uh, apparently, as the mission tells me, there's a few prisoners of war here. And I'm an American and this is a Russian vessel. So I'm gonna have to figure out which one of these guys, who are the Americans that I need to free and who are not. Now, I'm gonna be walking around with a sword because I feel like what better way to be a perfectly, you know, believable spy. Hello there. I am one of you. See this sword? Look. Oh man, you got like Kalashnikov magazines. Look like you peed yourself. So let's scout out the ship a little bit. Oh my God. We got a little Titanic moment. <laughs> Rose, don't throw me in off the door. But she does. Why does Rose do it? Oh gosh. Okay. I see some friendly faces behind me. All right, let's drop that and get our friend out of there and save him a bit. And in order to do that, I'll have to fight. Some of these guys don't really look Russian. Their uniforms almost remind me of like the Cubans during the missile crisis, right? The Cold War. Oh my God, there's Captain Blackbeard. Yeah, needless to say, the, the, I think my cover's blown. But if I can commandeer the ship, we can take it to the mysterious island where the mission briefing says that I need to go anyway. Apparently there's a nuclear device on the island. I hear so many footprints. I don't know who's coming to get me. So I'm just gonna hold the choke point. Ow! Okay, that, that really hurt. All the buttons. Ooh! Press all of the buttons and then run away. I mean, excuse me, tactfully retreat. It's not running away if you're doing it bravely, right? Well, there is my friend. He, he's lost most of his midsection. What are you doing? Are those guys crew members or what? Ow! Blackbeard really needs to go away. I mean, even the chef is in on it. Everybody on the ship is out to get me. But I guess that does make sense, doesn't it? I mean, I'm, I'm the spy and they're all Russians. I'm trying to find the other guys. That might be American POWs. You know what we need to do? Oh man, I think we're really, really close. Look at how many baseball bats there are. There we go, the shockwave's ready. Okay, what I wanted to do was this. <laughs> Everybody's going bye-bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. A shockwave ready already. Shockwave ready already. I'm gonna just mortar fire baseball bats at them. I guess it's more of artillery fire, but you guys get the point. I, I can't tell you how many people I've just knocked over by throwing flying baseball bats at them. Where do they disappear to? There's like some secret portal here, watch. He disapp- we all saw it. They must be falling down. The collision detection must be completely off because that guy just dodged my bat, but I don't think he meant to. <laughs> I found the infinite loop. Whoa, a black dagger. Does that mean it's got magical abilities? Oh god, I fell down here. Okay, there's only seven of them left. I think we've found a decent amount of them. And I'm gonna hit one guy and then use his weapon to get the next. It's gonna be like a chain reaction here. A falling weapons? What? You should be dead. I never really use the fisticuffs, which is, you know, they all give them the old ones and twos in this game. But they are very, very effective weaponry. All right, three of them left. All right, double shockwave. I feel like, you know, wasn't James Bond like a good boxer, right? He learned it at Cambridge or Oxford or one of those hoity-toity British schools. I mean, I guess I'm an American spy, so where would I have learned boxing? You know, at the, at the bars in Baton Rouge, going to the Louisiana State University. But you know what? Yeah, I guess if I had a Cajun accent, it would be very difficult to be a spy. Now, how do I commandeer this ship? Aha! Victory! Well, needless to say, our ship, uh, we made it to port. As you can see. Oh my gosh, they won't let me off. Magical force fields. Well, these magical force fields are also putting a very powerful katana here. Okay. 
They, they definitely look Russian. I thought like their uniforms color looks Japanese, but the red stars in Ushanka really give it away. Okay, we've made it here. You fight them off and distract them. There's our lovely ship. Oh God, this guy's big. I guess he doesn't have a head. That makes it difficult to fight. <laughs> if you don't have a head, you're gonna have a bad time. Wow, dude, he dominated them. I'm just on literal mop-up duty. Oh no, are they brainwashing us? Oh, what the? What is this thing? Oh, okay. I'm gonna destroy the secret weapons. Hey, you're not an American prisoner. Oh God, I, I lit him on fire. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Everybody, please get away from the devices. Oh, they're missiles. That's what they are. So if we burn them, see, if these were nuclear ordnance, I don't think we'd want to light them on fire. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that they would like create a mushroom cloud, a cloud explosion, but they would release a lot of radioactivity, don't you think? <laughs> why are you, why are the Russians carrying medieval axes <laughs> and, and Roman spears? Only in paint the town red would this happen. Okay, spear boy. You got a little testudo formation? I've got the honorable weapon of a samurai. Huah! I have broken your testudo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, guys, we did it. You, you're missing half your face. And I believe you're missing half your face as well. Uh, the enemy's over here, guys. I promise. They're literally right here. Oh. I tell you what. The katana has to be the best weapon in Paint the Town Red. Before all of the super weapons and all the secret weapons. There was this guy. And it was the ultimate weapon, which I definitely need. Okay. Okay. Come here and fight my friends. Oh, man. I don't know how many of them are going to survive. We should have a whole army out here. Now I just got to figure out... Wait, where did they go? Did they die? Did they fall? Did they go swimming? Did they run around the base? There's so many questions I have. This is a big facility. Nine enemies remaining. Okay, I guess my, my allies did die. And they took a lot of them down with us. So at this secret facility, I'd have to say that things are going pretty well. At least if you're me. Hey, put that wrench down. Of all the weapons to pick up, you pick up a wrench. There's like a war hammer. I mean, there's shields. Oh, is this one of the mad scientists with a, ma a machete? A machete. What's going on in here, guys? What secret device are you working on? Oh my god, we've got security guards with fire swords? Be a shame if I were to have a super awesome katana and cleave you in pieces. Hey, you're not a friend. Huh. Open the door. Open sesame? Simon says open the door. <gasps> There's a secret button under it. Ha! I knew it. Okay. So after completing this, I got to see if my friends are still alive. All right. One of them survived. It says there's two people alive. One of my guys must be hiding somewhere. Maybe under all the dead bodies. No B. NDB. Let's throw the sword up in the air. Oh, oh, that's the ceiling. It looked like a skybox. Anyway, to the final battle we go. Now, this is actually part eight of an <laughs> part eight of an eight part story and as you can see here it was made by modern the boss so if you guys have paint the town red i highly encourage you to play through this series the creator was even in saying that like he didn't even want to make any more but he was encouraged by some of his friends to do so so i'm glad you did because this is the epic battle and i've got two weapons to choose from my trusty samurai katana which sticks very nicely into the table or i've got a good old classic American made M16. Now this thing goes pew 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 real good. What's funny about Paint the Town Red is like, it seems like it could be a pretty good battle simulator. Don't you think? And like, look at this battle. Like I should be able to set up the battle and then fight in it too. Hey, you're not allowed to break through our lines. Anyone who breaks through the lines gets m 16 Ow. <laughs> I say ow even before I got hit. Oh, where did that spear come from? Did you see a spear? I saw a spear. <laughs> I accidentally knocked over my friend. Hey! What are you guys doing? They always beeline it to me. They're like, I don't care about <laughs> all of the enemies surrounding me. I am only interested in you, Tavarish. Oh, man. The full auto on this thing is just a glorious thing. But you got to be very careful where you do it. Because you can't hit your friends. I wonder what this would be like to try it. Uh-oh. Yeah, they've turned against me. Not much, I guess I'm a, I'm a double spy. A double agent. An agent who doubles in spying. Ah! Uh-oh. 
Yeah, this is the boss we're supposed to kill. Look at how many bullets he takes. Oh my goodness. Okay, that that's 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 getting a little bit ridiculous, boss. Oh no. Now the Americans are coming. But they're not real Americans, they're brainwashed Americans, right? I'll be Scarface. I'll just like hide behind this table. And anyone who comes through that door is not allowed. You've been warned. You've been warned. I told you not to do it. L man, look at the look at the bullets just squirreling out everywhere with this thing. There's the American boss unit. He did. All right, needless to say, if you bring sticks to a gunfight, you're gonna have a bad time. No, who's left alive? There must be some form of secrets going on. Or oh, I never checked the tents. Hello? Oh, we got some chefs going on. We got the barracks. And then here just looks like a red katana. A secret weapon. I love when they hide secret weapons around here. That's like one of the things that I'd say like definitely. What is that? That's someone dude's leg. What? Some witchcraft is afoot. But yeah, when, when the map makers create like little secrets and hidden weapons. Hey, bud, stop working. I'm sorry, okay, uh, the Russians, they paid me in rubles. Oh, I can't kill the medics unless they fight me first. There we go, guys. Ow, aren't you mad? Now you're not healing anybody. Now now we can fight. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> There's a, a medic tent. I, I, I definitely regret. Oh my gosh, I found the weapons locker. And of course, in any good Cold War style bunker, you've got to have a Roman sword, right? And then definitely a spear as well. But then... In addition to all that, you have your firearms. It says there's one dude remaining. Where could he be? There's something... Nope. It's just a wall. Oh, do you think... I wonder if he's in the porta potty <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, we got everybody. Here's a dude uh, playing drums during an epic battle. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, if I replay it, though, and I go immediately for the secret weapon. Thanks, guys. Y'all did great. And I, I'm not going to betray my friends this time. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to only kill the bad guys. I accidentally did it last time. And by accidentally, I mean, you saw me aiming at everybody, right? Ha! They're trying to flank us. I wonder if you could incorporate a game like this with shield wall and you could command oh man all right protect my guys there's a lot more russians apparently ow you're not allowed to have a fire sword uh oh almost got my friends there it's very difficult to maintain friendships if you put your sword in their bodies i promise oh the ragdolls you gotta love the ragdolls Did you see that guy he flew all the way over there all the way into the command tent here. Actually, this is more like the supply tent. Let's make sure he's dead. This is the one where the secret weapon was. If he flew in there and survived and found that weapon, I mean, we would have had a bad time. All right, guys, let's storm the fort. We're doing this legit. I'm actually almost dead. All right, guys, they're right here. They're right here. Form up. I'm going to smite this guy. You, you in particular are doomed. And <laughs> Death Star. And you know that we got it. All right, who else is getting Death Star? This guy. You. You're getting Death Star for sure. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's just melee weapons. Good job, you see what I did? I'm a Jedi. I wonder how many of my men died and how many didn't die. Hey! I thought I Death Starred you. Oh, he smites me with one blow. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode. If you do want to see more, well, uh, you guys know what to do. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.